morning it's a friday it's cold it's dripping outside like it's raining it's been for the past few days very cold and gray and all things winter and all of that but yeah we're still effectively in a lockdown we went into a lockdown over a week ago it's still on will be on until july the 9th with the way things are going i don't see the wisdom in lifting a lockdown when cases are actually increasing every day so obviously everyone is hoping that the government has a handle on this thing before the 9th of july otherwise it's looking likely that the lockdown will be extended you know the disappointing thing is that the kids are on holidays they can't go anywhere like i i have only seen my front door once when i went out to buy groceries apart from that we've been indoors all day every day and as you can imagine everyone is getting a little tired of it and bored but it's friday which is a good thing so it means that we can plan a few things for the weekend actually the girls and i are making scrunchies today which is something that i'm Quite excited about even though sometimes it can be a handful to teach them and my sewing studio is kind of small it's not a very big space I do need to set up the place so that we each have our own machines but I think I can manage that um, there's a few things I can think of to do to set up the place so that we all are able to use it yeah so that's the plan for today so in the time that I have before I start work, I will set up the sewing studio and then make breakfast for everyone. If I'm not done setting up this morning during my break, I will continue with the setup. And as soon as I finish from work, we get on to making the scrunchies. And listen, I'm, I'm going to try to make it as follow along as possible. So if it's something that you're interested in making, definitely grab your scraps of fabric just lying around or old pieces of clothing instead of throwing them way you can make scrunchies out of them i tell you scrunchies are like one of the most beginner friendly sewing projects you could ever make so yes definitely sew along with us yeah in terms of plans for the day that's basically it go set up make breakfast eat log into work 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 we make scrunchies right okay see you later So my setup is complete. I, I was fiddling with the camera, the angles, making sure that it was right, everything was in frame and that, you know, it wasn't wonky because I've got like my cutting mat, that's the green mat on the table and it's got grid lines. So I wanted to make sure that it was looking centered in the camera as well.
saying I'm about to set up this place because it's not going to be just me right now. So I want to set up so that all three of us have our own sewing machines and we can get busy. So we're going to be making three scrunchies. <laughs> yeah, my space is not very big, but I have a few ideas on how to make it work. At the moment, they are finishing up with their studies because yes, even though it is the holidays, we still try to get at least, at the very least, an hour and a half of study every day. Okay, every day apart from the weekends. So they're just finishing off. I think they have about 15 more minutes. So in that time, I'm going to set up this place. Just make sure that all the machines are working. I have two reliable machines. The other one mm, is a bit finicky. Okay, so I need to bring it out and test it and be sure that it's working. So this is the machine that I don't quite trust. It still sews and when it does so, it sews beautifully. But this machine, it's got a temperament, it's mind of its own. And there's no telling what mood it's in from day to day. We're at sewing lessons. We went from math lessons to sewing, sewing lessons. lessons. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have the vice lesson. Where we're, we're learning how to be in IT. What do you mean in IT? I don't want to be in IT. Now IT fixes all the Wi-Fi problems. And I don't want to learn how to fix the Wi-Fi problems. I want to be a, a content creator. <laughs> What's just money? That's right. So Making this. Let's clear up this space. Okay, so we're ready to start our scrunchie making, are we? Yes! Good, and as you can tell, I am not here by myself. I have these two little madams with me. So, that's my hand. Hi! 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 Great! <laughs> so, we have everything that we need for our scrunchie making today, okay? Obviously, the fabric, um, scissors, tape measure, a ruler to measure and rule things out. A, a piece of chalk. What is this? Elastic band. What about this? Pin cushions. What are these? Pattern weights. And Kachi, what is this? Pegs. Clips. Yep. All right. So we have everything we need here. Let's get right to it. For this video, we are going with a length of 60 inches by 4 inches right yes so what's the standard measurement we're using how long should it be 60 inches long and how wide should it be four inches wide great so we have a fabric here and i've already marked it out so the fabric that i have here is actually enough to make three scrunches so it's folded okay i had to fold it so that it's easy for me to cut but this fabric is 60 inches long so if I unfold the whole of this thing it's 60 inches long but I'm folding it so that it's um you know to keep it within the frame and also to be able to cut it um, easily so I'm just going to fold that again and then we're going to cut our scrunchy pieces we right scissors to cut good so what you want to do next is obviously to measure your four inches wide. So now that I have that marked out, it's time for me to Cut. what? Cut. 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 And this is where the scissors comes in handy. Scissors, scissors. So we have our first piece for our scrunchy making. Who gets this piece? Me. Good. This goes to you. So again, another four inches. This is four inches, as you can see, mark. Four inches again, you mark. Four inches all the way down, okay? And after the marking, you join those points with your ruler and chalk. 
and it's time to cut. Good. Sorry. Do you want to have a go at cutting? Yeah. Will you be able to cut on the line? Make yeah. sure you keep your hand as straight as possible. It's a heavy scissors. So let's go. Ah, nah. It's very. Yeah, so leave it. I'll do it. And we have our second piece here. Who gets this one? Me. That's for you. And the third piece is for me. So now let's move to the next stage. So who wants to volunteer their, their piece so that I can me. show you what to do next? All right. So we have one piece here which I'm going to unfold, 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 and maybe you want to follow along as I'm doing it. Unfold yours as well. Okay. So we've unfolded, okay? And then the next bit would be to fold this again lengthwise. So previously we folded this way, but now we are going to fold lengthwise that way. Okay? okay? Okay. So we're going to do that and I'm going to let you do it yourself and this is where the clips come in handy. So as you fold your clip so that um, it remains in place and it's not shifting around. All right. So while you are clipping all of that, I'm going to just move around and see that you're doing the right thing. Okay. Good. Are you done, Kachi? Great, it's done a good job. Now put another clip here. So the next thing would be to mark our fabric. We're going to mark the line that we're going to sew on, right? And it's going to be half an inch from the edge. So this is the raw edge. This is our fold on this side. So we're marking on the raw edge. Remember we folded our fabric um, lengthwise. You line up your tape measure okay with the raw end and then you mark at your five inch points okay just make a marking all the way down the length of your fabric so that's a lot of work you want to get started so we're almost done with our half inch markings all along the length of our scrunchie on the raw edge okay you don't need to go all the way to the end then the next thing would be to measure from this short end the short edge here measure two inches in okay so that's one inch two inches and then we just make a line here and can you tell me why we're making this line ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, so you it. know when to stop yeah I'm so stopped. that when we are sewing we know that our stitching ends right there so we're not stitching all the way to the end we are stitching all the way to here and we do the same on the other end so that's one two inches so now that we have our line all marked out, it's time to head to the machine. So we already ran the first stitch. Now we have like a tube, okay? And can someone tell me what the next step would be? Turn it inside out. Is that what we have to do? Yes. Okay, so we're going to turn it inside out. So now we have two safety pins, okay? And the next step would be to turn this inside out. So for this, I'm actually going to help you. Open up your safety pin like that. And then I'm going to separate this. Just make sure that I am not clipping both ends. Stick your safety pin through the fabric like that and then close off the end. Now that I have that um, through my fabric, the next thing would be to fit it into the tube like that and then start pushing through. You want to work crunched up end like that and it's a bit tricky. It might take a few goes. So what you want to do is to turn the fabric in on itself. We've turned it inside out and ironed it down so you can see it's looking really clean okay and neat right now so the next step would be to join our ends together like that because we know that scrunchies are round they are not one long strip so they are round so we need to create that round shape by joining the edges together so you need to make sure that you are forming a circle that is properly matched at the ends okay so now that we've we've made sure of that the next thing would be to open up these two ends like that match one end to the other like that open it up and this is where we need clips again and i'm going to put the clips on this okay to hold the edges together okay so now we have one continuous strip like that 
okay it's joint at the end and we have a very long circle our scrunchie is about 70% done at this point okay so can you tell me what the next step would be put the elastic in good so let's get our elastic and we're going to measure 10 inches of elastic which will go into each of these crunches so I have my safety pin pushed through the elastic and then we have to go through the tube that we have just created we need to make sure that you know it doesn't get lost by clipping this end here so we have one end clipped to the um, strip of fabric and then we have the other end with our safety pin so the safety pin goes into the opening that we left and then we're going to push it through the fabric So what do you think the last bit would be? The last thing to do? Put it on. No. To sew this part. Good. Yep. That's what we need to do. So we need to sew this opening close and back. Oh. 